Hello Simmers, it's been almost four months and I haven't uploaded a video again. I really missed this, and finally I was able to make a video today. Okay, this video will discuss all the tips and tricks related to pools. Whatever you want to know about pools in Sims 4, this video is what you need. So, let's go to the first tip. So, first tip. You know, Sims can't lie in a shallow pool. But now it could happen. You only need to build a half wall, 0.25, and delete one of the walls. Don't forget the decoration. I like decorating some beach items. Then add the water. And most importantly, add a fish's kidding pool. And of course it works. This is really interesting, isn't it? So, let's move on to the next tip. Second tip. If you want a more natural pool with a waterfall and a crater below it, you must try these tips. The first step is to build the pool and raise the foundation. And around the pool, a lower plane was built and water was added to create a crater. Then build another platform and add a jumpy jump. This will be the waterfall. To make it more natural, add some rocks, plants and flowers. Don't forget to build a floor for your sims to access. And add the water emitter. And yes, this is a natural pool with a waterfall and water crater. What do you think? Okay, on to the next tip. Third tip. Have you ever felt bored with the hot tub in Sims 4? But now I never feel that way again because I know this tip. First, build a half wall, 0.75. Then add the hot tub that you have. Even the base game can also be used for this tip. To reduce the size of the hot tub, you can make it smaller with the tools mod, or add immaculate on top, and decorate it with bath equipment. Then add water. And here you can also change the color of the water. And don't forget to decorate the surroundings with trees and plants. And yeah, here's your hot tub now. What do you think? The next tip is a more natural base game hot tub. First, build the floor and the hot tub. Reduce the size of the hot tub, then add water. Make sure you have built the floor, otherwise you can't add the water. Then add some rocks, and also add the fountain. And this is really like a water pool in the forest. Maybe you can build this hot tub while camping. What do you think? Big discount! You can get all the games including The Sims 4 pack and stuff at a much cheaper price. Link in my bio or a pinned comment. Come on, hurry up! and get this 60-70% discount only for this month. Next are tips on how to build a roof over a pool. First, build the pool. And build a room, add a roof, and lower the room. Then delete the room. Move the roof. You can adjust how high the distance between the pool and roof is as you like. After you move it, you can add a glass roof so that the light still comes in but doesn't get rained on. Next, there are decorations on the left and right of the pool. I replaced the plant pot from Debug. I also built another pool for decoration. And added a fountain. I hope this design inspires you. Okay, let's move on to the next tip. Next tip, have your sims ever sat in water? You should try these tips. Build two floor sizes like this. Then use the terrain tool and create a lower terrain in the middle. Add stairs and build a pool around it. Then add water in the middle. You can also change the color of the water. And what's special here is that you can add a sofa so your sims can sit, sitting in the water. Then you can also add an aquarium and reduce the size so that only the fish are visible. And this is your home pool lounge. In the middle, it can function. You can play in the water. You can also enjoy the fish view and the pool also functions. What do you think? The next tip is almost the same as the previous tip. First, build a pool in the shape shown in this video, then create a low area in the middle and add a sofa in the middle. Okay, on to the next tip. Next tip, a pool that has a roof and two pools that have different water depths. This hack is really interesting. Build a pool and make a low land in the middle. 
Make sure your pool is transparent. Then add water in the middle, and you can use the middle part to relax. Add sofas and other decorations. So that it doesn't get rained on, you can add a roof. Build a room, add a roof, take the room down, and move the roof. Choose a glass roof, and everything works. I hope it inspires you. Next, tips for building a Japanese hot tub with a toodler pool. The method is the same as the previous tips, so don't skip this video. I'm sure you guys will need it. Have you ever thought about building a slide in your swimming pool? I'll show you how to build it. First use the roof, then press and hold the shift key and the C key. So you can easily change the curvature of the roof. You have to try to raise and lower the roof to form a slide. Then add color to the roof, then add jump and splash items from the get together pack. Then add something to hold the slide. You can use anything, I use items from a spa day. Don't forget to add wood or pillars from debug. To fill in the blanks, this works fine. Make sure you adjust the length of the roof to the reach of the jump and splash items. What do you think? Do you want to try it? These tips are about how to make perfectly flowing water. So we make the pool first and add rocks. I used rocks from the cat and dog packs. Also, make a pool with a higher foundation and add stones too. Important tip, don't put the water emitter like this. This will make the water float and not fall into the pool below. So add a water emitter in the basement and adjust the height of the water emitter. And this is much more perfect. You can even make several levels of pool with water flowing from the top to the bottom. What do you think? You should try this. Next tips. I want to build a kid's pool and a tree house with a playground. First, I need to build a tree house. I use a round platform, make it two levels, and add trees, fences, and stairs. Next, build a small pond using a half wall around the tree house. Add blue tiles and decorate with lounge chairs. Decorate around with tents and kids' items in the tree house. Add some coconut trees and grass from the island's living path. Last but not least, use the pond tool and add water. And make sure you remove some walls for the entrance. This is totally functional and you can also walk on water. Six tips you should know to make your swimming pool more luxurious. First, change the tiles to be more patterned. You can press Ctrl key plus F. Second, add coconut trees to the pool. Delete a little part of the swimming pool and add coconut trees so it feels like on the beach. Third, change your swimming pool to transparent. Add a half wall and use a transparent foundation from the get together pack. Fourth, build a small pool around the swimming pool. Add a blue floor and add a fountain. This will make the pool more luxurious and modern. Fifth, make a fake staircase using a stony slab from Spa Day. Make it at an angle to make it more luxurious. Lastly, add a circular fountain in the pool area. Remove part of the swimming pool and add water and fountains. In your opinion, which one makes the pool more luxurious? Write in the comments. Five tips you should know about swimming pools. First, add colored lights to make it more attractive at night. Second, you can add lap guide items to make it appear that your pool is shallower, and this still works.
Third, if you like something different, you can add this item. Your pool will seem steamy and bubbly. Fourth, build a small garden so that your pool is more natural and not boring. Lastly, you can also add a small pool area with shallow water. So, which tips do you think are the most important? In the last two videos, I gave tips about swimming pools, but they can't be done in the base game. So today, I'm going to give you tips using only the base game. First, you remove several parts of the pool and add this fountain. Decorate it with plants. This fountain is like a multi-tiered pot for plants. You can also place it in the living room. Second, you can also make the swimming pool look shallow by using this carpet. Use the mod tool, select rotate and write 15. Move to the pool. Now you have a shallow and deep side of the pool. Very interesting. Third, add lights along this slanted line to make it more luxurious. Lastly, you can also make round swimming pools with this item, and it works. In your opinion, which tips are most interesting? Write in the comments. Three tips you should know so that your swimming pool doesn't get boring. First, build an octagonal pool. Add this fountain. This is the base game item. You can put it in the corner of the swimming pool. Second, using the stone slab from the spa, I will build a fake staircase. Third, I wanted to create a difference in depth in the swimming pool, so I added awnings to provide a sloping side. In your opinion, which one is the best? Write in the comments. We know that in Solani, a swimming pool cannot be built even though we have added a foundation. We can only build a pool on the first floor or above a room, so we need two floors of the house. What if we only want to build a tiny house and want to have a swimming pool? Maybe this could be the solution. First, you need a snowy escape pack so you can get to this hot spring. Then add a fence from debug, use the mod tool, and select elevate minus 1.6. This will give the impression that you have a swimming pool in Solani. And it works, what do you think? Write in the comments. And if you want to get the Sims 4 pack plus a discount, you can buy it using my link. Link in my bio. How do I build a swimming pool in Sulani? Part two. We know that in Sulani, you cannot build a swimming pool, even if you have added a foundation. But what if we have a small house and want to build a swimming pool? Yesterday, I suggested adding the hot spring from the snowy escape pack as a swimming pool. What if we don't have that? You must have this bathtub. You only need to use the mod tool. Select Elevate, minus 1.6. And to add a blue watercolor, you can add a blue carpet and decorate it like the atmosphere in a swimming pool. Now you have a swimming pool, but unfortunately, it's not functional. It's just for decoration in front of your house. Let's build a cute pool. First, I will build a love-shaped pool. And add a half wall around the pool so you can get a transparent pool. Make sure you have a city living pack to get a transparent pool. Add decorations to the pool and coconut trees. I will also make the pool shallower with lap guides. Add a fountain and potted plants because I want to have a small garden here. Maybe this pool is suitable for a tiny home. And this all works. I hope it inspires you. I also want to inform you that I am giving a 40% discount on all Sims 4 packs and stuff, so you can get what you want at a cheaper price. You can also get a giveaway if you participate. The link is in my bio, and I have pinned comments. Next, tips for building a round sunken pool. First, build an octagonal foundation. Then overwrite the platform with a round platform, lower platforms. And now you just need to add a sofa and decorations with a fountain from a spa day. Let's try these tips. I really like the boats in the 4 rent pack. First, you have to build a basement. This basement is in the middle of the lake. Then add the boats you want. You can also use boats from other packs, like the Growing Together pack. But I'm currently working on falling in love with the rent pack. 
and you can add chairs and other decorations. Here I added a grill and radio, so it's suitable for relaxing and enjoying the sunset. And of course, this is all functional. Don't forget that you have to build a lake around the boat, add grass too. What do you think? Is this pack worth it? I also want to inform you that I am giving a 40% discount on all Sims 4 packs and stuff, so you can get what you want at a cheaper price. You can also get a giveaway if you participate. The link is in my bio, and I have pinned comments. Did you know you can't waste all the boats in Sims 4? Every boat and ship can be made into a cool and innovative home. If you like something extreme, then you should try this. You just need to build a surface on the boat. This time, I used a diagonal room. Don't forget to delete the walls, and I will also add stairs. In this video, I will also show how to add stairs in a diagonal room. On this boat, you can create a dining area with a grill, a hot spring, an open bedroom, a small kitchen, and a toilet. And this all works. In my opinion, this already has complete facilities for a starter home. But you also have to build the sea around it to make it more natural. You have to try it. Don't forget to check my YouTube channel for other Sims 4 videos. If you have a two-story house, you can build a pool like this. You can build two pools, with the first pool on the second floor. And then you can create texture on the walls by adding vertical walls from EcoPack. Then, build another pool. To make it more modern, I added a room divider from the Dining Out Stuff Pack. So it looks like there is a waterfall from the second pool to the first. I added the fountain from the Spa Day Stuff Pack. I also changed the color of the water to be cooler and I used the mud tool to reduce the size of the fountain so it looked like there was really flowing water and decoration with lotus flowers and lights so that the first pool looks shallow I added lap guides from the pool item and this really makes your home much more attractive and modern what do you think? There are four ways to build stairs in a pool. First, use a sofa from a spa day, increase the size, and arrange it like a ladder with various height differences. And of course, it still works. Your sims can still swim here. Then, what if you don't have a spa day pack? You can use the shelf from the Sims 4 base game, increase the size of the shelf, and arrange it like a ladder. Use the alternate key for easy movement. Third, you can build stairs with a unique model using a table from the Dream Home Decorator Pack. It's like a circular staircase and is very eye-catching. And it's functional too. The final tip is that you can use the slab from the pool tool. This slab is from the Spa Day Pack too. And also arrange them like stairs. What do you think? Which tips are the most interesting? Easy and simple tips for building a luxury pool. I suggest your house has a foundation that is higher than the ground, and then build the pool. 
I prefer to build it like in this video, where the middle will be lower because it is not connected to the foundation. Then add this grass. Make sure the height of your pool is parallel to this grass. Make the grass pattern according to the shape of the pond. Then add a fountain and rocks. Here, it looks like there is a flow from the pool, from the highlands to the lowlands. I hope it can inspire you. I want to inform you that I am giving a discount of 40 to 60% on all Sims 4 packs and stuff. And everything you buy here remains connected to EA. You don't need to worry. And you can also get a giveaway if you participate. Link in my bio and pin a comment. This is how I decorated the area around the swimming pool. First, you have to build a floor with two different heights. You can use the platform or foundation method. To make it more interesting, I used a combination of two tiles, and I also added plants and fountains in between. I also added marble texture by adding a marble table from the spa day. Then I added large plants. Don't forget to build the pots. And finally, add the sofa. What do you think about these tips? I also want to inform you that I am giving a 40% discount on all Sims 4 packs and stuff, so you can get what you want at a cheaper price. You can also get a giveaway if you participate. The link is in my bio, and I have pinned comments. Next tips, how to build a sunken pool, a play area for children, and a bar. Here, children can play, and you can also enjoy drinks at the bar in the swimming pool. I think this is interesting. You watch the video and write a comment about your opinion. Next tip, I will build a round floor above the swimming pool. First, build a round platform, then build a room and add a platform above it. Then delete the room so that only the platform remains. Move and lower the platform until it is close to the pool. Then add a round platform, add stairs. You can add a sofa to relax. What do you think? Write in the comments. <laughs> 